We're glad to be here at the grand opening of shops at the main living today. Uh, there was the biggest ribbon cut probably in Milton ever by the mayor of Milton and uh, we were really kind of pleased to have the company of the local MPP Ted Chudley as well as Lisa Ray, the federal MP, as well as other kind of uh, councillors from the town, Rick Melaboff and Zishan Hamid and uh, Mike Lewitt also just showed up too. So it was great to see the support to the local businesses and the shops here at Main Living from the all local and uh, local representatives, the community especially, which came in over in big numbers to join the family barbecue that we had. We had some kids activities and other fun and live music as well, as you hear in the background already. Hi, so, I'm Indira Nagu Harris. I'm the provincial liberal candidate for Halton. Look, I just came out today and dropped by the main living square and plaza just along the street here, and it was amazing. I visited with so many wonderful shop owners, saw so many families out, people were having a good time. It was a great way to spend the afternoon, but the most important thing is if you get a chance, come on out because you really get a uh, possibility and a chance to support our local businesses, and uh, that's good for all of us. Hey, so uh, my name is Daniel Wilson. Uh, I'm one of the owners. Is a culture rising here. We opened up uh, in December. Uh, we've been loved by the town here. This is my business partner Matt. Uh, this is our grand opening here. We got a band playing out front. They're killing it. Uh, we got a glass sale going on today. We do this every once in a while. So if anyone wants any smoking accessories, they can come by here. And if you're an artist, uh, we take any art of any kind. You paint, you write, you draw, you do stand-up comedy, yoga, whatever. We'll help you, promote you, and whatever money you make, you can take back yourself because, you know, we don't take any of that. But, Hi, everyone. This is Sabon Tattoo Club at the corner of Main Street, 1252, Milton, Ontario. This is my wife, Michelle. Uh, my name is Harold. The shop is Sabon Tattoo Club, like I said. Uh, this is a great turnout. This is the grand opening for the whole strip. Hi, I'm Rob Duvel, and we're here at Min Max. Um, we came down to the uh, festival today just to learn about all the new businesses that are opening. We didn't know a lot of them existed here, and it was really nice to have a chance to go into each store and find out what it is they do and hopefully support our local community. Uh, my name is Rick Mala from the local council for Ward 4 here, and great to be at this uh, grand opening of these stores. And it's a beautiful day for it, and hopefully uh, this gives these stores a lot of exposure and get their... Uh, customers up and let people know what uh, what's available for them here. Just in case anybody's wondering who this love mode guy is up here right now, I'm George France, Mayor of the Town of Melton, and uh, thank you very much for, uh, and I know Carolyn, we're right in front of me here. Carolyn was the individual that uh, was in touch with uh, the Mayor's office there to make sure that uh, I get out here to officially cut the, uh, the ribbon in just a uh, few moments. But before I do that, uh, I've got a few brief uh, comments and I know that uh, two of my elected uh, colleagues from the provincial and uh, federal level are here, the Honorable uh, Lisa Ray, and she, like me, probably has not lost the word. And also uh, Ted Chudley, our uh, MPP, and of course now a uh, candidate uh, as well. He may have a few words as well that join me uh, here today. And I know that there's uh, at least one of my elected colleagues that's with me right now. Two. Two? Okay. Two. Uh, Rick uh, Malbu, Councillor, and Zishan uh, Hamid, uh, two of my colleagues are here with me. So guys, give a little uh, away. Anyway. These are the people, ladies and gentlemen, that I uh, work with. And again, I have often said that democracy, at least in my opinion, here in Milton and Holton, is alive and well. So uh, and that's the, in the way we intend to keep it. Uh, one of the things I think I mentioned to Caroline uh, earlier on uh, there when I came in, I said, I've been involved in a few ribbon cutting ceremonies in my 34 uh, year almost career. But I have to say, Caroline, that I think this is probably a first for being the biggest ribbon that I think that I've ever seen. <laughs> so, always in life is first. Now, I really would be remiss uh, on not only uh, thank Caroline for organizing this and doing it officially in just a few moments uh, here, but I have to share with you uh, the importance of this development in this particular uh, part of the community. And of course, I know that there's residential and uh, live work uh, places. And it's the way of the future as far as I'm concerned. Now, 
one of the things, and of course, you know, the residential sector, they pay a fair bit of uh, taxes, and people like Lisa and Ted and I are always thankful of that. We love taxes. But you know, more importantly, on the serious side, it's the businesses. It's the businesses of any community, the province, the country that really makes it uh, tick. So I want to thank those of you that operate business here on Main Street because really what it does, it helps pay my wage as well. Okay? As well as Council Melbourne, it's a council to me there as well. But on the serious side, that's what really what makes a community tick. I will be very quick because it's very hot out today. Thank goodness. It's nice to have great weather. It's great to meet everybody. I drive along this way all the time. My kids played at, uh, they played uh, basketball actually down at the high school down there. So I watched the progression of this area and I'm so happy that you're open now. And I understand, hopefully Mr. Mary, you're gonna get them some parking too, right? <laughs> for you but that guy can't so. <laughs> and I heard there's an election so maybe you can have another word with him about it um, it's great to be here small business is the lifeblood of our country it's all these little places along the way that really matter you string it together and we have an economy so thank you very much for being entrepreneurs and for taking risk because it is a big risk what you're doing and it's gonna pay off for you and we're so glad you're doing it we're gonna make sure that we we uh, come to your stores and we shop there for sure. The, uh, the longest ribbon that we've ever seen, you know, I cut, uh, we opened the deli uh, about 10 years ago, we opened the deli and we cut the chain of sausages. And we opened a Christmas, uh, something around Christmas time, and there was a Christmas wreath made of evergreens that we cut. There was a filter company up in the, uh, in the High Point uh, business uh, section up there who cleaned filters, and we cut a filter that was about 10 feet long. But this is the longest ribbon that I've ever cut, so it's uh, beautiful. It's, uh, it's, we're, we're setting a record today. Entrepreneurs, small business, it's the heart, it's the lifeblood of any, any economy. It's the lifeblood of Ontario. It's certainly the lifeblood of, an, of, uh, of Milton. Congratulations to all of you opening your dreams, making your dreams come true. This is a special day. And I, I wish you all the success in the world. And I will work as hard as I can to make sure that you have the tools of success that a, that a provincial government can give to you. Thank you. One, two, three. We just officially opened uh, Main Street uh, shops here on the east end of Main Street in Milton here. You can see from some of the shops uh, along here, it's just a live and bustling group, so we wish them every success. I made a few comments earlier on that how important it is for businesses in any community, and that includes here in Milton and the great region of Halton. So I thank those businesses for locating here in Milton and much success in the future. Hi, it's Lisa Raitt, I'm the local member of Parliament, and I'm reporting live here from Shops at Main Living. We had such a wonderful time today. We had a barbecue, we have a great live music band, and we're opening up so many wonderful new small businesses along the way. We're having a lot of fun here. We're very proud of all of our entrepreneurs and all of our innovators, and I'm gonna have a chance to talk to each single one of them along the way, and we look forward to you coming out and shopping here at Shops on Main Living.